when a person hires workers to do job for him, for example, he took the contractor to uh, build his house, and while he's working, the prices of the workers went up. The minimum wage went up, and therefore the contractor is asking for more money. Or the price overall with inflation went up, he's asking for more money. Or the opposite. The price of the workers went down for some reason, and that the market price became lower. After you set up a price and you started working, you can't change your prices, whether it's for more or less, whether you lose or you gain, not the worker and not the person hiring him. That is the price that was set and that is the price you have to do the job and finish the job. There is a question, can a person force the worker to continue working for him or maybe the worker could leave at any given time, which is true. A person can leave is not when I, when I stop working for somebody, I don't have to stay there to work. I can take the salary that I worked up to now and leave at any given point. But if I continue to work and I want to continue to work, just want to get a raise, I don't have that claim against the person hiring me saying that the price, the market price went up uh, or the prices of the workers went up and therefore I need to get paid more for my, uh, for my job. Whatever we set in the beginning, that is the halacha. This is something that's written in halacha in Choshen Mishpat Shiman Shin Lamed Bet. It's a clear halacha, and therefore each person needs to respect the other when they set a price and the, and the work started. Uh, the worker started working.